Hello, my cozy company, it's Rosalind, and welcome to Rolling Hills. Oh my gosh, guys, it has been so hot these last couple days, and I have been craving foods that cool my body down, but also like fill me up. And this has been leading me to eat quite a lot of sushi <laughs> and quite a lot of yogurt and things like that. And Rolling Hills is a game about starting your own sushi restaurant. This is just the game that we need when we're stuck inside and it's blistering hot outside. Thanks so much to Humble Games for sending me over a key. They think you're gonna love this one and I think so too. Before we get in, we're gonna do our usual accessibility check. So we're gonna go to our settings. Let's see, use our keyboard here. We've got some gameplay language auto detect. Oh, okay, we've got a lot of options actually. That's really cool. We've got graphics options, full screens, and some texture and shadow quality to help your machine run the game better. Audio, the sliders. My favorite accessibility feature is being able to control all of my volume sources separately, and they have done this. They have a UI scale, and I'm gonna actually bump that up just a little bit for accessibility. And then finally, they have a restore default option just in case you wanna start over and redo all your settings. Let's start a brand new game. Oh, and a cute little message from the devs. We're a studio of two brothers who got a lot of help along the way. It's a dream come true that you decided to play our game and we just wanted to take this moment to say thank you, James and Matthew. Oh, guys, thank you so much for letting me play your game. Was I staring? Sorry, oh, this is Sushi Bot. This is my first time away from home. I've never seen so many people before. I'm on my way to the vast futuristic city known as Rolling Hills. Once I arrive, I'll become a world-renowned sushi chef, fulfilling my dreams and making my creators proud. I know moving out is scary for a lot of humans, but I'm a brave little bot. In fact, I was programmed with... What's that? I'm blocking the bathroom? Oh, sorry. Uh, this is my stop. I'll just squeeze by you. Goodbye forever. Oh, we got our little introduction on the way to Rolling Hills. We are Sushi Bot. Howdy, little fella. This is Kaji. Is this Rolling Hills? Of course. You must be Sushi Bot. I'm the mayor of this town. Name's Kaji. You said it was a bustling metropolis. Actually, I said it would be a bustling metropolis. We just need a little help. Uh, I should probably make a phone call. Wait, look, I know I might have fibbed a little bit when I was talking about Rolling Hills. The fact is our town needs you more than you need us. You need a chef. More than a chef. Every great town needs a landmark, a reason to come from miles away just to experience it. You'll be that for our town. People will come from all over to have the world's best sushi. The fact that a robot's making it won't hurt neither. neither. Come on, follow me. I'll show you to a restaurant. Oh, we got a cute little place. As you can see, I've cleaned up a place smack dab in the middle of town for you. It's um, cozy. That's what the kids call it these days. Of course, we already have the world-class facilities to help you along the way. There's the market next door where Armand sells fresh ingredients. You can use those to liven up your recipes. The cafe on the north side of town is run by my youngest, Maya. No better place to make friends than over a couple of, cup of joe. A couple of joe? Yes, that <laughs> sounds like what I need is a couple of cups of joe. And last but not least, the workshop to the east where you can buy new furniture. My older daughter, Ren, runs that one. What a beautiful name. So how about it? Take a chance on Rolling Hills. Uh, for sushi, for friends, for pity, for sushi. <laughs> Whatever gets you to stay. Now how about you open that restaurant and show us how it's done? I'm mighty hungry from all this talking. Oh, we got the keys to a brand new restaurant and we're excited to get going. Okay, some tasks. Behind my face up in, in, the, in the upper, upper corner. Let me move me over. Press escape to open the main menu and navigate to tasks, then select the task to pin it to the top right of the screen. Okay, so if we go here, here is our little menu and I'm using my arrow keys. Can I use WASD? I sure can. So we can hit enter to open our task list and this is number one, grand opening. Today's the first day of the rest of your life. Open the restaurant, discover all that Rolling Hills has to offer. Use Sushi-matic to open the restaurant. Okay, so that is currently pinned. It's got a little flag beside it. So we're gonna hit escape to go back. And then we've got recipes here. We've got agnigiri, onigiri, and sashimi. That's a good place to start. Kind of like have to figure out what your audience likes. We've got a sushi place here in town that has specifically a West Virginia roll. And it's based off what their customers most commonly order, which I think is really, really cool. Ooh, we've got some different hats. Yeehaw, partner. <laughs> We've got a cowboy hat there. Some achievements. Okay. And we can get to our settings and the tutorials. 
Very, very nice. You can also save and quit from this menu. It looks like I won't need my mouse for this one, so I'm just going to use my keyboard. Anytime we stop and stand still for a couple seconds, our task list pops up in the upper right-hand corner, which is awesome. So we've got our market over here with the red roof. I like how they have stairs to make this accessible for the wheels. Ooh, looks like the shrine has been here for a really long time. Hmm. Maybe we will leave some sushi for the shrine. Ooh, there's a bus stop. Ooh, it's the bus stop where people wait for the bus to stop. <laughs> That's accurate. Okay, and then there's our little cafe. And we've got some residential area. Oh, what a perfect little place to have a house. Aha, uh -huh. and we've got a workshop here. Ooh, this garden looks like it hasn't been used in a long time. Wait, we're going to get to garden too? Oh, that's going to be awesome. Oh, and we've got a beach. we got to have a place to fish, right? I mean, oh, I love how our screen goes wonky when we're in wa deep water. <laughs> what a cool little detail. Ooh, we've got a little message board over here. Let's go around. What's this say? It's equal parts help wanted and help offered ads. What a sweet little town this is. We've got some opportunities to recycle when we're back at the center of town. Let's go over here to the market. A sign on the door says the market is closed while the owner is on vacation. Oh, okay. Well, maybe that's our sign to go in here first and get ourselves set up. Okay, we got a nice little space. Here's our little sushi-matic. Current status, fully charged and ready. What would you like to do? I would love to open the restaurant. Let's go ahead and get started. After charging the sushi-matic, press enter near it to produce five random dishes from your unlocked recipes. Okay. Cool. Oh, we're already having someone come in. Press enter near a dish to grab it and then press enter near a customer to serve it for them. Okay. Wow, simple as that, okay. What would you like? Hi. Each customer has a desire, desired, each customer has a desired, each customer has a desired flavor indicated by the color and icon and quality indicated by the number. Try to match or exceed these values to get good reviews. I see. She wants a fish, number one. So sashimi, quality one. Aha, five stars. Your primary goal is to increase the restaurant's popularity by satisfying customers. Each time the restaurant reaches a new level, you can get new customers, quests, or progress the story. Okay. Sounds great to me. I can't wait to decorate in here, too. Do I need to clean plates and stuff? Uh, you would like something vegetarian, maybe? Though not all onigiri is vegetarian. Ooh, I have a little fridge. A large fridge, not a little one, but plenty of room. There's a note on the door. If you need more ingredients, come see me, Arman. She would like another sashimi. There we go. We're making some bank. Our first customer. Thanks, friend. Bye-bye. She looks like a scientist. Grow your restaurant to popularity five is our next task. Hello, all two people. Oh, well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. Okay, onigiri. And we have a fish that's winning. So we'll go over here to our sushi matic and we'll press reload, please. And we'll take over a fresh sashimi. And our other customer also wants a sashimi. So we'll take that over. Very nice. Okay. Onigiri. And we'll have to refresh for another sashimi. I can see our battery is draining every time we have to refresh. Unfortunately, I do not have a fish there. So we're gonna have to refresh again for this last service. I wonder what makes the battery refuel. Is it a successful meal? Successfully placed paired meal? That's very possible. Something new and fun to do in town, sushi restaurant. What can I get y'all? I know that's not a typical thing to say, y'all. Candy, interesting. It's interesting that that is a, uh, it's it's an egg, it's egg and rice and, and seaweed, but it's portrayed as candy. Well, I guess the egg could be sweet. Egg could be sweet. Okay, she would like another. This is really easy to play and I'm absolutely loving the, the system. It's, 
It's easy to understand. There's a picture, there's a number, there's a color. Thank you, come again. I can't wait to get cool, cool hats. I want more cool hats. Maybe we'll put on our yeehaw cowboy hat. Yeah, let's do that now. Hats. <laughs> Much better now I'm a yeehaw cowboy. <laughs> Great, all right, so here's our level summary. We got five stars across the board and we're already at level two. Our customers say that onigiri is a vibrant masterpiece that's as beautiful as it is delicious. Eating sashimi is like swimming in an ocean of flavor. And I love sushi. Yes, I also love sushi. Hello. Hi there, it's nice to meet you. Likewise, oh, this is Armand. And congratulations on opening your restaurant. I run the market just next door. I hope you'll swing by. You'll never take your recipes to the highest level without investing in great ingredients. That is true. Sushi requires fresh stuff. We have knives. <laughs> oh, we learned how to make something new, a kappa roll. This is a veggie flavor. Okay, dainty. Troubled by messy customers, try serving this recipe, which instant instantly makes the table cleaner. Ooh, okay, so maybe we'll be integrating, keeping a clean restaurant as well. Time to sleep and save. <laughs> We've got our cowboy hat and we're ready to go. Many recipes have special effects. Okay, just like we were reading. Press escape to open the main menu and navigate to recipes to learn more about them. Gotcha. So if we do that, is the kappa roll the only one who has that so far? Let's see. Dainty. Correct. Yes. So far. So let's go out here and pay a visit to Armand since he was so nice to visit us. Oh, a guest. I traveled all the way here just to taste your creations. Well, I'm glad. Let me get stocked up and I'll open the shop. Hello, Armand. I'm still getting set up, but feel free to look around. Like I said earlier, ingredients can take a recipe to the next level, improving it in all sorts of different ways. I'll let you choose your first ingredient for free. Oh, that's kind. Wow. Okay, so what do we got here? On the fish side, gourmahi. Ooh, 10 XP to any fish recipe. Okay, yeah, give give me the protein for for free. Thanks so much. Or mahi is a great choice. Ingredients must be used on recipes to enjoy their benefits. Open the pause menu, navigate to the ingredient screen, and use your ingredient on a recipe. Okay, so we've got to we got to clarify what we're using things on. Okay, so we go we press escape, we go to ingredients, and oh nice, it already highlights the recipe it can be used with. So we're gonna use that on our sashimi for now. Okay, and then we level up recipes to be better and better. Let me explain a bit more about recipe levels. Ingredients give XP to a recipe. When a recipe gains enough XP, its level increases. Each recipe gains one quality at levels two and five. Raising a recipe's level also makes its special effects more potent. Why don't you open the restaurant so you can see your leveled up recipe in action? Okay, so we've got a level two, uh, what is it? What was it? Sashimi now. Cool beans. All right, and we have bok joy. Oh, uh, yeah, let's let's buy some of that. Where do I see? Oh, my coins are behind my face on the left. I, uh, I had 90, I had 90 coins starting out and I spent 40 for some bok joy. All right, so he's gonna have our fresh veggies and of course our freshly caught fish as well. Looks like we have friends waiting. Heard about your restaurant from a friend. Apparently it's the talk of the town. Oh, I'm glad your friend, uh, we can pick up trash. I just picked up a little can. Don't litter. Always take care of each other. Let's go in the cafe. Say hello. Oh, hello. Maya. Maya was our first customer. Precision that sushi chefs put into their work is something to admire. Yes, it is. All systems go today? Yes, they are. What a cute little cafe. Very important to introduce yourself to the neighbors when you come to the new, new town. Okay. Let's go into a restaurant and start service for the day. Fully charged and ready. Let's go. Can I, well, can I decorate by chance? It doesn't seem like we have a chance yet. I mean, not like we have any money to purchase any furniture and the workshop's not open. Okay. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta make some bank first. Okay, here we go. We got our leveled up sashimi. And customers are rolling on in. Uh-huh, rolling hills. Uh-huh. What can I get ya? All right, a sashimi. It's gonna be the best thing you've ever had. Best thing you've ever tasted. Five stars, instantly. So I suppose you could give guests something that they didn't order. If you need a specific power up, but their star rating would go down. So 
Hmm. Strategically, maybe you'll have to give them a different dish if you're unable to reload the sushi matic. Hi, hi. Welcome. Oh, okay. Now we learn how to clean. When near trash, press and hold C to clean it. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean up. And she would like nigiri. There you go, friend. The music is so pleasant. I just want to bebop. <laughs> Here's our new kappa recipe. Which has that cleanliness buff, you guys remember. All right, I'm kind of waiting to see if there's... Okay, yeah, strategically waiting to see if there's anything on this line that I can give to folks before I reload. All right. Go. Patience is a virtue, friend. I'm going to be right there. And the new Kappa recipe to our friend. Oh, we completed an achievement on the on a roll. Complete 25 orders. Very nice. Uh, so what do I do if I pick up something and I can't use it? Sink for washing dishes and hands. Well, I, I can't use this one. Can I replace it for another? I can. Oh, okay. Their, their lines are going down really, really, really quickly. Stress, stress, stress. It's all good. It's all good. I would love to see an option where I don't have to hold C since I have all these fantastic controls where I can just press one button. A great accessibility feature would be just to be able to hit the C button rather than having to hold it. Oh, Jeff, my compliments to the chef. Nothing beats a recipe with great ingredients. Remember to buy ingredients at the market to improve your dishes. Different ingredients work with different recipes and give different amounts of XP. Visit the market every day to see what's available. Okay, so Armand is probably going to have a varying stock from day to day. Oh, and this is Ren. You're Ren, right? Your dad told me about you. Did you enjoy your meal? Yeah, the food was fine. It's the decor you need to worry about. Uh-huh, yeah. We gotta, we gotta make a vibe, guys. The furniture you decorate your restaurant with can have big consequences on customers. Stop by my workshop if you want to learn more. I do want to learn more. I want to invest some of that coin into making a more cozy atmosphere. California roll! This is one of my favorites, by the way. Cha-ching! Customers will pay extra for this recipe. An inside-out roll containing crunchy cucumber, succulent crab, and creamy avocado, beautifully decorated with exquisite layer of row. Usually you don't get the added row. That's very spe special, very, very bougie. Okay, so now we can go visit Ren and we can visit Armand. Ooh, a rainy day. Oh, pick up the trash. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. Hey, Ren. Oh, hey. This is my workshop. A gumball machine. <laughs> oh, I love the plant. Can I have the plant? People donate unwanted or broken items and I turn them into worthwhile pieces. Oh, she's an upcycler. That's really cool. Some furniture is just for looks, but many can make your restaurant more profitable, popular, and comfortable. Normally, those special effects cost a pretty penny, but I'll let you have your first for free. Choose carefully. I want the plant. Give me the plant. Monstera is relaxing. Interested? I'll take it. What's relaxing? Relaxing furniture makes customers wait longer for their orders. Oh, yes. I'll take it, please. Yes. That reduces the stress level a little bit. We can place furniture in our restaurant by using escape furniture and then making a selection. Monstera is a solid choice. This probably goes without saying, but furniture must be placed in your restaurant in order to activate its effect. Why don't you head back and try placing the plant in your restaurant? I would love to. Okay, I've got 176 coins. Can I buy it? I don't really want a gumball machine or a TV. I really enjoy restaurants that just allow you to eat in peace, like... I get distracted by TV screens and things like that. I just want to enjoy the company I'm with and savor the food that I've ordered. You know, take time to appreciate that effort that went into putting all that together. Okay, so we can rotate with Q and E before we put things in. Let's just go ahead and plop our, our plant down right there. Go back to our inventory with enter and we press escape to, to finish. Hmm, that'll work. See how much better it feels in here already? But don't just take my word for it. Open the restaurant and you'll see the difference. I'm ready to see the difference. Let's go, Sushi Matic. Fully charged and ready. Open that restaurant. Okay, so this should give me a little bit more time before they count down and get a little aggravated with, with me on service time. Ringo friend. Gosh, now I want sushi. 
I just made on a Geary here at the house too, crab and salmon. I'm not very good at it, but it is yummy. Ooh, I can see there's a little extra bonus line. Okay, cool. Now I know what to look for. I got extra time with our folks. This reminds me a lot of restaurants that have like sushi conveyor belts. I want to go to one of those restaurants so badly one day. Ooh, we'll have to stop by Armand's as well for some ingredients to level up now that we're making money. Almost 300 coins now. Can't go wrong with a California roll if you've never had sushi before. It's very, very mild. I think you'd like it. And the sauces are everything. So, you know, soy sauce, a little bit of wasabi. I really like ginger on mine. Ooh, sleepy customers. If a customer falls asleep, press H to honk your horn. Oh no! They stay asleep for too long, they'll lose track of time and have to leave the restaurant early. Okay. Hello? Honk, honk. Let's give, let's get a clean, clean slate here for Ren and get her sashimi, clean their table and do a reload. Thankfully we've got time. Goodbye, Ren. Have a good day at the workshop. Seem to be doing okay. I'm definitely going to collect more of those relaxing items. I wonder what other item types we have other than relaxing. I didn't get a chance to ask Ren, but it's so exciting. I mean, just to think we can put some more tables in here. Probably could fit one, two, three, four more tables comfortably, depending on what decorations we decide to put in. Oh, I think these recipes could use an upgrade. Hashtag quality. Oh. Hashtag relaxing, okay, got you. See what I mean? Let's recap. You can buy furniture at the workshop to increase customer patience, make more money or gain more popularity. Just remember that furniture only affects customers when it's placed in the restaurant. Visit my workshop every day to see what's available. She also has a rotating stock, seems like. Maybe if we get to know each other a little better, I'll have more options for you. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Ooh, fruit roll, Oh. Every time this recipe is made, there's a chance its flavor will change to rainbow. Oh, what does rainbow mean? A fruity and sweet roll with colorful ingredients arranged in an ornate mosaic, presenting a visually stunning and delightfully culinary creation. That is beautiful. I wonder if rainbow is any. Kind of like a wild card when you, when you play cards. Let's go over and talk to Armand. Get some more ingredients. We're at level four restaurant now. This is so, so fun. Okay, so we've got some different options here. We've got mushrooms. We've got a rock egg. Ooh, chewy or filling. Oh, there's gonna be so many more options for types of recipes. Interesting, it's not just gonna be the three. Enchanterelle, that's cute. Party recipe. Okay, so that's 50. A lusk. Okay, so that's shellfish, and then we've got the gourmahi. I wish I could see on screen which recipes this goes to, specifically before I hit buy. Because then I have to come out here and look at my, my recipes. I'm not sure which one they would go to. Oh, we've got yas, yasberry. <laughs> yes, we'll, we'll buy some yasberry. And it looks like we've got an onion too. Electronion? Onion. Yes, we'll buy some onion. And more bok choy. I guess it, it pays really to go ahead and buy these ingredients, but it's all about your strategy. If you're going for more furniture or if you're going for uh, higher recipes starting out. How much is the, okay, we can afford that. Okay, so I'm down to down to 50 coins, but we have quite a few ingredients that we need to go ahead and select. Let's let's stay out here and enjoy the sunshine. Go to our menu. And then we can say here what we want to incorporate into each recipe. And it shows their level number underneath the recipe. Okay, so with this one goes with our fruit, the Yasberry. Nice. So remember, the quality goes up at level two and level five, if you remember. Mmm, can't see? So this is this is exactly what I was, I was wondering. I wouldn't have bought the onion if I had known that it wasn't going to be able to be used with any of the recipes that I have currently. 
Same with the rock egg. That's unfortunate, because I would have put that with the egg nigiri. Same with the mushroom. Okay, and then I can put I can put the alusk with anything. So let's put that with our California roll, since it's a level one. Kind of start leveling up everything as we can. And let's see. So the California roll has a ritzy effect. The sashimi has no effect. So I'm going to do it on the, the gourmahi on the California roll because we'll get extra mula. And then let's go back over and, and see what Ren has in stock. I know I've got no money, but a girl can dream, <laughs> right? A girl can dream. And I'm looking forward. Maybe Ren will let us make a garden outside our workshop. Ooh, she's got table and chairs. Ooh, sandwich board. Charming. Ooh, extra XP from each customer who visits. Oh. Okay, I need a loan. <laughs> Where I have to work hard, my friends. Get this sushi restaurant running and with high quality ingredients. Oh, here's our rainbow roll. I wonder what rainbow does. Can I give you a rainbow and see what happens? Oh, I think it is like a wild card. So we've learned what a rainbow does. This is really, really cool. This game is just, I think it's the perfect combination of cozy and strategy, but there's not the amount of stress that a restaurant sim puts on you. You know what I mean? So if you're looking for something cute to play, but you also want to like min max, you want to play something challenging, you could make this challenging. I wanted to stop by and tell you that it hasn't gone unnoticed how hard you're working. It's easy to see that you're going to have a big impact on Rolling Hills. But don't forget to make time for socializing, too. If you get to know your neighbors better, they'll teach you new skills and even improve town and shops. Not to mention having friends is just more fun, too. Stop by my cafe if you need any help making friends. Yay! So there's a relationship aspect as well. Oh, this is such a cute game. And not only is it cute, but I love the style so far. I don't feel overwhelmed you know, learning all of these different recipes. I don't feel overwhelmed with all the items that are in the market. Everything is super simple. I want to get to know the townsfolk better and continue to run this restaurant over and over again because service is so easy. The tutorials in the game have made it so, so easy. Oh, I just want to, I want to play this all day now. I hope you guys go check out Rolling Hills on Steam. Thank you again, Humble Games, Nate, for sending me a key for this game. I think you guys are really going to like this. If you want to see some more cozy games, don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell notifications on. I'll see you next time for another great adventure. Bye-bye.